Whoa, I didn't even notice. There's an extra pack off to the side from the rest of these and it's an Evolving Skies pack. Well, the holidays are just around the corner and everybody's gonna be doing their shopping. Walmart's got an exclusive, Target's got an exclusive, Best Buy's got exclusives, GameStop's got an exclusive. You can't get everything you want in the same place. You're gonna have to go to different stores if you want all the things that are in today's video, starting at Best Buy with the Curum V and Mew V boxes. Each of these two boxes comes with four packs, a regular V card, a jumbo, and a Cosmos Hollow. I'm just gonna tear these things apart, not waste any time. So code cards are going out to the Fang Gang in this video, so make sure you're subscribed to the fan gang that is by hitting that subscribe button and uh you will be getting some code cards today check out that zekrom looks like we got a little swirl hiding behind the the wing right there and we have our hiram jumbo card and then we have obviously the hiram v which is not a black star promo i just want to point out that neither of these is actually a black star promo in this box you do get both of those cards if you scan this code right here. And we have our four packs, guys. Only four packs for $20. So what is inside this thing exactly? I don't know if it's gonna be the same as the Mew V box. We'll find out in just a minute. But we have two Lost Origin and two Evolving Skies. So, I mean, pack selection's pretty decent. Lost Origin has some really nice cards in it. Evolving Skies obviously is Evolving Skies. Let's start with Lost Origin. The value of these packs, to me, Seems a little crazy for it to be like a Black Friday deal um, and a Pokemon Center, or Pokemon Center, Best Buy exclusive code card going out. Not really the best deal in the world, just sort of like another option in terms of, you know, getting Pokemon cards for Black Friday. But if you're looking for great deals, we're gonna see what we have later in this video because some of the other products, whoa, there we go, okay. I'll take it, I'll take the Pikachu VMAX. I don't know what the price is on that right now. It's gonna pop up on the screen, I'm sure. But that is a really nice card. And we got a Clefable for our rare. Let's take a closer look at this Pikachu VMAX. Actually looks really nice, really well centered. How's the back? Back looks great. This looks fantastic, actually. I'm gonna sleeve this. Already, I think this might be worth more than the box. So, I mean, contents may vary, guys. You're not always gonna get a really nice hit like that out of these boxes. I've opened way more than just four packs and pulled nothing. So that's always going to be a possibility as well. Code card, one, two, three, and four to the front. So let's see what else we get in this box. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting pretty much nothing out of the rest of this thing. That would be perfectly okay considering the fire we just pulled. Horsey, Meditite, at least I think that that's fire. Hopefully I don't look Silly when the uh, the price shows up on the screen and it has changed from what I thought it was last, but I thought it was like 30 plus dollars. And an Aerodactyl V, not the Aerodactyl that we're looking for, but is a V hit. Two packs, two hits so far. But like I said, guys, if you go out and buy these boxes, do not expect to have these same pull rates because it's all over the place. I've opened tons of these things and gotten absolutely nothing and just been pretty miserable, so. If you're looking for the promo cards, then go for it. If not, I would just go with getting some regular old packs, but we are here to open some stuff up and pull some fire like that Pikachu. We got an elemental badge, it's our reverse, and a Regidrago, a hollow. Technically, uh, technically a hit. That means that that one had a black border code card. All right, I can already see we have something in this one. We already have something in this pack. I don't know what that is though. Could be another trainer gallery hit. That would mean we got a hit in every single pack out of this box. Maybe, and this is probably wrong, this is probably completely wrong, but maybe these Best Buy boxes are a little stacked. Time pole, Litleo, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Lilligant, so it wasn't a trainer gallery that we saw. Oh, there's no trainer gallery in Evolving Skies anyway, so I wonder what we got. Let's check it out. Oh, it's just an Arctivish V. Boom, and I'm gonna keep the uh, the pulls up on screen since this is all the Best Buy uh, section of the video. Mew V-Box, time to open this up. Let's see if we got a, a nice swirl on our Mewtwo here or not. Uh, don't, oh wow, yeah we do. We have a really nice swirl, basically right coming out of his hand there. There's already a swirl in the artwork, but I don't know if you could see that or not, but we got a nice swirl 
um, but it is nice to see, you know, getting a swirl in one of those does uh, sort of amp it up a little bit in terms of its, uh, you know, its rarity and uh, desirability as a collectible. But we have our Mu V right here from Darkness Ablaze. So interesting that this product just came out um, and it's got Darkness Ablaze as the, uh, the promo card. You can get both of those cards, I'm pretty sure anyway. Don't uh, take my word for it. Just go ahead and scan this code and see if you're able to get one. And uh, here we have our jumbo card. And then we have our four packs. And I will say, I'm already noticing, just looking at this pack art, these are not the same packs in both boxes. So the Curum V had two Lost Origin and two Evolving Skies. And it looks like this one is totally different. We got two Lost Origin, one Rebel Clash, and one Sword and Shield base set. That's so strange that they would have both of those boxes that are basically like, you know, sister products with totally different packs in them. So if you're looking for Evolving Skies, guys, go with the Kirim V boxes. Um, at least the ones that are in print right now should both have uh, Evolving Skies in it. If you're looking for Rebel Clash and Sword and Shield, I don't know why you would be doing that, but the uh, Mew V box seems to be the one that has those. So let's check out Rebel Clash. I have had plenty of luck, honestly, with Rebel Clash in the past, since this was one of the only sets I was able to get my hands on back during like everything going crazy with Pokemon cards and everything was out of stock everywhere. Everything was insanely overpriced. The uh, shop right nearest me actually has a little section of a customer service where they were selling packs and they had Rebel Clash for days. And we were going there like almost every day and just opening so much Rebel Clash, like more than any other set probably at this point. Um, almost like every day we were opening like 10 packs of Rebel Clash because that's all we could get our hands on. Got a Zatu Reverse and a Sizer or Scizor. How do you guys say that? Sizer or Scissor? Scissor just sounds like a pair of scissors. So it doesn't seem like that would be the name, but I could be wrong. Code card going out. So we didn't get anything crazy from Rebel Clash despite the uh, thrilling story that I just told. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get from Sword and Shield Base. This is the set I actually haven't opened up a lot of, um, like I said, because everything was kind of crazy around this time I was just getting back into the hobby and it seemed like people were already kind of moving on from Sword and Shield Base. Vulpix, Muna, Pokemon Center Lady Reverse, and a Lapras on Hollow. Last two packs are Lost Origin. Very strange to go with such a, such a recent set and pair it with two of the earliest sets in the Sword and Shield era. So weird. Speaking of the Sword and Shield era, I can't believe it's almost over. I really don't know what's gonna happen. I've talked to a few people on Instagram. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Pokefang Official. I'll try to make sure it pops up on the screen here, but if not, it's at Pokefang Official. Um, I give out code cards there. I post pictures of my polls um, and I talk to people in the, the Fangang community there all the time. And it seems like the general consensus is that uh, a lot of people might be leaving Pokemon or taking a break from Pokemon during Scarlet and Violet. Uh, era of the TCG just seems like everyone thinks that it's going to be aimed at a younger generation, which I don't know. It's always aimed at a younger generation, in my opinion. I guess like some of the stuff's like a little like cooler or edgier, but I, I collect, you know, kids stuff. This is something that I collected as a kid and I'm still collecting as an adult. I don't expect it to have changed its target demographic. Orbeetle Hollow from that one. I thought there was an Orbeetle. Hollow in Lost Origin, that seems a little silly. But yeah, so it's it's interesting. A lot of people might be leaving, but who knows? Might, more people might be entering the hobby. I'm okay with it either way. If, you know, the hobby gets more interest, then prices go up. If, you know, it, and it gets harder to find stuff. If, you know, a lot of people leave the hobby, it prices go down and it becomes really easy to find stuff. So. It's, it's sort of, if you're here for the long haul, then it really doesn't matter uh, what which one it does. You know, it's the value of your collection can go up or it could go down and the prices of the product can go up or down. We got Radiant Gardevoir in our last pack for Best Buy. So we are gonna be moving on to the next products from different stores right after this. So we do have a Radiant Gardevoir and it looks like something else. Maybe, uh, what's in this set? Kiram? It's the Curum VMAX that I always get excited is something else because those edges are so colorful. But that's a nice double banger pack. All right, we did get a couple of nice pulls out of those two Best Buy products. 
but contents may vary. You might end up getting nothing out of those products. And at $20 for four packs and a promo card, I would give this one a solid five out of 10 because those are very standard prices. And in terms of like holiday sales, Black Friday, not the best deal out there. So let's move on to the next product. All right, up next, we have the EV Evolutions Premium Collection with this crazy vortex of Evolutions, starting with EVV, Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Leafeon, Glaceon, Espeon, Sylveon, and Umbreon. I don't know why I needed to say all of those out loud. Okay, and it looks like there's nine Pokemon TCG booster packs. Now that is a lot of Evolutions promo cards, and uh, these have been in circulation through other products and tins throughout the year. So if you have opened those, you might already have some of these cards. And at $69.99, this is also probably gonna be in the bottom tier of value. I believe it was on uh, PTCG Radio uh, YouTube when they first announced this. That's where I saw it first. Um, but special shout out to uh, Mrs. Pokefang for picking this up for me. This was like a total surprise. I wasn't planning on opening this just because it's so expensive. Um, but she went ahead and picked one up as a surprise. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna open this up in a video. And this is actually how the concept for this video was born. It's, I'm gonna do a real dangerous maneuver here real quick. And we're gonna see if it pays off. Let's go. All right, check that out. I don't know how I'm supposed to dismount from this. Maybe I'll move this out of the way. Oh, almost, almost made it. All right, so here's all the promo cards, guys, that come in this box. Uh, I'm gonna put prices up on the screen, but I'm assuming that for the most part, these are about a dollar. Maybe some of them are $2. All nine of those promos and nine packs. Like I'm assuming there's a code card buried in here somewhere because I didn't see it before. And there it is. Literally the last pack that I uh, checked out there. In this box, you will find, potentially, unless they reprint it and change what's inside of it, uh, a Chilling Rain, two Fusion Strike, two Brilliant Stars, two Astral Radiance, and two Lost Origin. We're gonna start off with the packs that don't have double bangers in them. And that's gonna be Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain. So let's go ahead and open these up. Grab that code. One, two, three, four. All right. Fusion Strike, Spongy Gloves, one of my favorite sets, to be honest. And if you watch more than one of my videos, if you're not new here, um, the Fang Gang already knows how much I love Fusion Strike. Zoro, but it's not loving me so far today. Maybe in this other pack. Um, I've had some really incredible luck with this. Even in the code cards, for whatever reason, I've already pulled two of the Gengar VMAX alt arts just in the code cards from stuff that I've opened. And in the actual physical packs that I've opened, I've also pulled the uh, Gengar VMAX alt art three times. So three times physically, two times virtually is really, really strange for that. Just that one alt art just keeps coming up, which is really cool. Might have something to do with the good luck ghosties here in the background. I got the Gengar on the background. Got Baneri, Clobopus, Tynamo, but it does feel very strange. It's a little bit like Twilight Zone that I keep pulling that card. How crazy would it be if I just pulled it again though? All right, Chilling Rain, AKA Chilling Pain, which honestly, I think that this pack price for Chilling Rain is gonna start to be on the rise soon because these are um, becoming harder and harder to find. And that's why I always think it's funny when there's sets out that, you know, like Fusion Strike, where people are like, oh, those are only $3 packs. Like that's, you know, that's a garbage set, whatever. It's like, yeah, well, when it's out of print and uh, people start looking for it and they wanna open it, guess what? Prices are gonna go, go back up. So. I don't know, I don't, I don't go by market price drops when it comes to packs like this because, you know, yeah, sure, they're gonna drop when there's a lot of them, but they're gonna come right back up. So talking badly about it, it's gonna look really silly a year from now when the prices start to go back up. We've got a Doug Trio non hollow Let's do Brilliant Stars next. So yeah, this is a very strange product, I will say. Um, the fact that it has all of the Evolutions promos in it. Like I, what were they, I don't know. Were they planning for this product or is this something that they came up with to get rid of a lot of the excess promos that they had? Or maybe they had to break down a lot of those tins and turn it into a different product. That would be my guess. I assume stuff like that probably happens from time to time. Um, but yeah, Brilliant Stars. Let's see what we got here. Not the best pull rates for me. Dusk Noir Hollow. I actually gave up on pulling any alt arts 
um, or any like, you know, big secret rares from this set a long time ago because I opened a ton of it and didn't get anything really besides regular ultra rares. So to me, this set is very, very rough when it comes to the pull rates, but there's plenty of other good stuff in this product here. Freshwater set, Buizel, Paulucha. And the funny thing is, is that Mrs. Pokefang who got me this box um, is literally has the best luck when it comes to opening, <laughs> opening sealed product. So she got this for me and uh, we're saying maybe that would mean, you know, there's something good in there because she picked it out. But also because she gave it to me instead of opening herself, we might have actually just messed up the luck system that's working behind the scenes there. Because, you know, now that it's mine, I might have my pull rates, which are pretty terrible. If you guys watch my channel a lot. I have got some really crazy videos where I get some really sick pulls. I pretty much always get like an alt art or two from every major set that comes out or expansion that comes out. Um, but man, does it take me a lot. I'm definitely playing the volume game of opening tons and tons of products. Shadow Rider, Calyrex, VMAX, Gold. What do we call these? Are these golds, these trainer galleries? We got a Regidrago as our rare, but yeah, that's a nice card right there. In general, the trainer gallery, I think it's going to uh, bounce back big time. Cause a lot of those cards are only like less than a dollar. And I think they're gonna go back up. Might be only to a few dollars, but that you're talking about a two to 300% increase. That's pretty good. As somebody who invests in the stock market, you're not gonna see that kind of uh, that kind of movement anywhere else in the world. Um, so Grant, Subian Electrode, Growlithe, Voltorb, Rufflet. We got a Ponyta, Rowlet, Thievil in our uh, character rare spot. So kind of stole that. And a Hisuian Arcanine. Yeah, it's very, very strange product. Like I said, I wasn't gonna pick it up myself just because I was very confused by it. But since I got it as a, uh, a gift, which was very nice, I figure we got to make a video out of it. And if we're going to open up some exclusives, let's just do it all. So this is actually the product that uh, is responsible for this video being made, which is kind of interesting. First time I've actually like had no plan for a video and then like a product sort of gave me the idea for a video. Shuppet, Reverse, oh, and a Honchkrow. So far, I mean, out of those, what was it, nine packs, we only got one Pull. So that is not great odds. Uh, definitely did better with somehow with the the forty dollars of um, Best Buy packs that we opened earlier. One, two, three, four. But that's just how the game goes, you know. It's like every pack is you know completely random, and you don't know what you're gonna get. You can open twenty packs and get nothing, or open one pack and get everything. So Litleo, Mindfu, Shellos. Gligar Reverse and a Drapion V. So we did get one more final pull. All right, so for the GameStop Evolutions exclusive, I'm gonna give that one probably about a four, maybe a 3.5 out of 10 in terms of value. But this next product is gonna be one of our more interesting ones. This one caught my eye immediately. It's the VMAX Dragons Collection. Based on visuals alone, this thing looks absolutely sick. The packaging is really nice. But if you flip this thing over, it looks identical on the other side, but we've got all Rayquaza uh, variation of the box. So I don't know if I've ever seen a box like this where there's been different stuff on either side. It's kind of strange, but I kind of like it. I've had this thing sitting at my desk for like three days now, and I cannot wait to open it. Take a look at this thing, VMAX Dragons Premium Collection. This thing is really, really nice. I know I just showed you probably a bunch of B-roll on it. So let's get ahead and open this up. Very interesting packaging. The paper is different. It's like a matte black paper. Check out how these trays are in here. They're back to back. This literally feels like two separate products just like stuck together back to back. All right, so let's pull this out. So there you have it. Two separate products in the same product. That's <laughs> really strange. Um, let's go ahead and open up the Duraludon first and see what kind of packs actually come in these things. I'm curious if both sides have the same packs or not. This is not Black Star promo. That is a standard Evolving Skies badge for these cards. So these are the exact same cards that you would get pulling them straight out of the packs. And uh, for some people, that might be a good thing. Nice Duraludon VMAX uh, textured jumbo card. All right, let's move that off to the side. Whoa, I didn't even notice there's an extra pack off to the side from the rest of these and it's an Evolving Skies pack. We got six packs here very interesting 
So, um, yeah. Let's see what we got here, guys, in this little bonus uh, Evolving Skies. Almost forgot to give the code card out. A little bonus Evolving Skies pack that was hiding in the back there. I've never seen that either. So two things that are very unique about this product is, first of all, the fact that it's a back-to-back, double-sided box sort of product um, that I've definitely not seen before. But also there was packs on the inside that were hidden. So there's a window for you to see all of the packs. But for some reason, they hid one of them behind, oh, Tropius, behind the, uh, the jumbo card, which is such a strange thing to do. Let's open up this fusion strike here and see what we can do. Lots of, um, at least at least there's lots of options um, for the holidays for Pokemon. If you are looking to buy stuff for your kids or you know nieces, nephews, things like that, or just by yourself, there are plenty of options. And uh, if you're the type of person that collects sealed product, I, I, I'd be interested to know, let me know down in the comments if you are a sealed product collector, do you collect these types of ex store of exclusives? I'm going to call them um, these store exclusive boxes because uh, it's such an interesting like one off thing. Yo, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. So we got a schoolboy full art. OK, so we have two Astro Radiance Brilliant Stars. Again, let's get Brilliant Stars out of the way. Let's see what we could do here, guys. But let me just double check. Oh no, I'll do it right after this pack. I'll double check how much this thing actually costs. I'm sure I said it in the video on the graphics and all that stuff, but at the time of recording this, I don't remember how much this one actually cost. So we'll get to see uh, what that is right after this pack. Magmar, Riolu, Burmy, Staryu, Torkoal, Reverse, and an Excavalier. All right, so it looks like this one's actually $59.99 from Target at retail. Um, and there is 11 packs total in this thing. So that means that these packs over here, maybe there won't be, maybe there's five in each. And then that one evolving skies that was hiding behind the jumbo card is the oddball. That's such a weird thing to do. Um, Cause I would assume if there's one on the other side, then that would make 12 packs. But for $59.99 for 12 packs, just putting that up against the um, GameStop one already, already like sort of knocks it out of the water in terms of like the value because the GameStop one was $70, only had nine packs in it. This one's $60 and it has 11 packs in it. Plus some really like legitimately good uh, promo cards. I mean, the evolutions are also cool if you're into evolutions, but odds are if you are into evolutions, you already have every single one of those promo cards from all of the tins that have come out. Oh, last year, okay. And then we'll get to see, it does look like when I'm just glancing over right now, it does look like there is a, uh, or the same packs on the Rayquaza side. Rayquaza, Rayquaza, let me know how you guys pronounce that. I don't know how you would spell that out, but let me know in the comments how you say Rayquaza or Rayquaza or Rayquaza. I've heard it said every which way. Ursa Luna and Hasuian Braviary. Last pack for this side, still the same product though. This is so strange. Uh, and then we'll move on to the, the Ray Ray side. We'll just call it Ray Ray. Okay, code card going out. One, two, three, four. And like I said before, if you are redeeming those codes, let me know. I want to. I want to hear that some real person is down there actually enjoying these codes. Or hit me up on Instagram. Let me know. Teddy Ursa. Otherwise, I could be using these for myself because I do play the game. Reggie Gigas as our reverse, and a Hisuian Lilligant. And now we have the other side. Here's where our code card's gonna be for these, I guess, would-be promos. Maybe you'll get these. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. Maybe you'll get these if you uh, scan that code. There you go. Ray Ray V and Rayquaza V Max. Very, very nice. I kind of like that those are just the regular cards from the set, to be honest, guys, because if you're ever gonna like grade them or anything like that, nice thing to have in your collection instead of the black star promo black star promos it depends on when it was when it was made and what it is i guess but sometimes the values on them end up being a lot lower than they probably should be but we got brilliant stars lost origin okay so it looks like these are the same packs just minus the um evolving skies that was hiding behind the jumbo card on the other side what a weird product design 
all, all over the place. It's weird because they went with like symmetry on the box design by having it on both sides, but then asymmetry with the packs by only having 11 and having one of them not shown in the window. One, two, three, four. Maybe that's what they did. Maybe they wanted symmetry in the window design, so they hid one of the packs, but I don't know why. I don't know why they would have hid one of the packs. They probably could have gotten away with just having 10 packs in this for $60. Uh, with these promos and jumbo cards that still would have been an okay deal in terms of like the types of products that pokemon typically puts out we've got absol rever or i'm uh, not reverse non hollow rare from our fusion strike pack and then we're moving on to brilliant stars these packs are opening up so weirdly lately i have noticed everything i've been opening up lately has been very strange the packs have been kind of like fraying and pulling apart weirdly Cleansing Gloves, it's interesting. Floatzel, Sigalith, Clink, Dedenne, Cubchoo, Duskull, Farfetch'd, Tropius, and an Empoleon Hollow. All right, we got Lost Origin and then two Astral Radiance. And then I think we're down to our last retail uh, holiday product, our holiday exclusive. And that's gonna be the Darkrai V-Star box up next, which I personally really, really like. I was able to find four of them, but this uh, this VMAX Dragons box is probably another really good option. So we'll see what I ended up grading it at the end. But so far, it's really not that bad compared to some of the other ones. Clefairy Reverse and an Orbeetle. It'd be nice if we get some better pulls though. I will say, I do like the Schoolboy Full Art, but that's literally the only thing that we've gotten out of these 11 packs so far. That's not a good look. All right. But I will say those those slightly overpriced Best Buy boxes did have some really good pulls in them. But, you know, that's that's totally random when it comes to packs. Ralts, Sneasel, Mischievous, Barboach. Ah, Cleaver, non-hollow. Come on, man. Let's get something here. Look, this Astral Radiance. I've had really good luck with Astral Radiance, so hopefully we get something a little bit better at this last pack here one two three four at least a trainer gallery hit something something can't walk away from 11 packs with just one pull that's terrible odds that goes against everything danny phantom just said in his recent video about pull rates oh no trainer gallery <laughs> and no and no ultra rare hit uh, so I think this one I'm going to put at about a 7 out of 10. I think it's a pretty good value. You're getting some pretty decent cars, some nice jumbos. But just wish I got some better pulls out of it. So let's move on to the last product of today's video. That is the Walmart Darkrai V-Star Premium Collection Box. So this comes with the Darkrai V-Star, Darkrai V8 TCG Booster Packs. Very nice for $20. This is the best deal by far out of today's video. There's not a ton of stuff in it. It's not like, you know, knock your socks off or anything like that. But as a per pack value, this is really incredible. I will give you maybe somewhat of a pro tip that might be a little bit helpful. Um, I went to my local Walmart. I walked around everywhere. I could not find this product anywhere. And uh, it wasn't until I was walking back to the front of the store that I realized it was on one of those aisle pallets, but it was on the back side of it because I did like two or three loops. I kept seeing those pallets from the same angle, completely walked past it several times. It wasn't until I came back in the opposite direction that I saw them. So hopefully um, that helps some of you guys if you're not able to find them at first. We've got our Darkrai V-Star non-Black Star promo. All right, let's see, we got our next one. Is our Darkrai V-Star, very, uh, very off center, a little heavy on the top there. We have our jumbo card. This Darkrai V-Star that comes in this Walmart box is not a textured jumbo card. For some reason, they just maybe cheaped out on it. This uh, Lost Origin pack is like very strangely packaged. There's this huge bubble in here where it's like kind of crooked. But it looks like this thing is mostly Astral Radiance. We got one, two, three, four, four Astral Radiance, two Lost Origin, and two Brilliant Stars. Let's start off with Brilliant Stars. Since I mentioned earlier, this is the one that I have the toughest time with. Hopefully, one of these days, I will get something good out of one of these packs. One, two, three, four. But yeah, it has has not been um, has not been great. So, <laughs> oh, messing up my bulk here. Choice belt, Axu, 
nose pass to Dene. My screen's lagging a tiny bit, probably because I've been recording for a little bit over an hour now. Moltres is our hollow rare for that pack. Hollow rares seem to be all I can pull out of Brilliant Stars for whatever reason. But let's see here, guys. Lots of uh, interesting stuff going on in the TCG right now. These exclusive products um, are very strange to see, to be honest, because for a while there, at least in my area here in the Northeast, um, Poke like Pokemon products were not even being sold in stores. There was all these rumors going around of like violent fights and things breaking out over Pokemon cards that I never quite like got any further information on, just kind of had to believe what I was hearing, but very strange. And um, pretty much every store had pulled Pokemon cards off the shelf. Oh, we got an artillery uh, character rare. That's pretty nice. And an Arceus V-Star, let's go. Double banger for brilliant stars. I mean, honestly, like the value of this thing is just crazy, crazy good. One, two, three, four. Hopefully no scalpers watch this channel. If you're a scalper and you watch my channel, dude, just get lost because uh, that's not what we're about here. We're about positivity, friendship, kindness, collecting, adorable. Look at this artwork. Dude, look at this artwork. How are you gonna scalp that? That's what you're doing, come on. Have some morals. Shup it, seal. All right, I'm attacking scalpers that probably aren't even here. Gloom reverse and a shiftry hollow with the lost zone uh, smoke and stuff coming out of there. It's pretty cool. I don't know what to call that. I don't know. Is there like an official name for like that blue and purple and pink um, like little clouds that come out of the lost zone? It seems like it's got like its own theme going there, like these things. It's gotta be a word for that, right? It's like an art element. Basculin, Inke, Paris, Mr. Mime, and a Mimikyu, I'll take it. I like Mimikyu, you guys know. Astral Radiance is up next, right? All, all Astral Radiance is left. All that's left is Astral Radiance, is what I mean to say. Okay, code card going out. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can top the $20 value of this box, which honestly should be very easy. If there's gonna be a, a collection box out there right now that you're trying to top the value of that box, uh, the Walmart one's gonna be the way to do it because the per pack value is just incredible. Chatot Reverse and a Regidrago Voltorb. But let me know guys down in the comments if you are uh, picking up any of these products. Let me know if you found this video helpful um, in your pursuit of finding card at major retailers. Maybe maybe you're looking for holiday gifts and things like that. If this is helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. It really tremendously helps me out on this channel. You have no idea. Um, I heard that subscribe buttons are an invasive species. So if you see one, make sure you smash that. A Zelf reverse and, oh, a Dark Rye V. Are you kidding me? We got a Dark Rye V in a Dark Rye V box. Uh, that's so funny when that happens. Usually when that happens, one of them's regular, one of them's uh, Blackstar promo. But in this case, they are both the regular card from the set. All right, got a couple more chances here. Technically four more chances. We got trainer galleries in here. So hopefully we can get something at these last two packs. Mistrevis, Barboach, Pawnyard, Eevee, Mightyena. There we go. Character rare and a Hisuian Braviary. But this product is probably my favorite Black Friday product. As much as I don't like going into Walmart, um, maybe the Walmarts are different near you, but the Walmart near me is absolutely packed all the time. Um, there's so many people in there just like standing on top of each other. The lines are always like 50 people long. The, the self checkouts are always super crowded and there's only like two registers open. It, it's just a mess. I'm not a huge fan of Walmart, but this product I probably have to say I am a huge fan of. This is a really great product. Hopefully we get something in our last slot here. Maybe not, but that's okay. Ah, Reggie Rock, non-hollow rare. All right, guys, so for the Walmart Dark Ray V-Star box, I have to give it like at, at least a, an eight or a nine out of 10 for value. There's eight packs in there, it's only $20. Uh, I've gotten some pretty good pulls out of it. I know that that doesn't count, but it's just been an overall great experience, so that's my vibe. But in terms of just value, eight or nine out of 10, definitely the best Pokemon exclusive for any one of these retailers, in my opinion. But I would definitely check out that Target VMAX Dragons box. Even if you want to keep it sealed, it's a really cool product. 
Um, yeah, guys, let me know if you thought this video was helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by and opening up Pokemon cards with me. If you're feeling kind, hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. And as always, happy haunting, Fang Gang.